Hi, welcome to my blog. My name is Tom Shu, and today we're going to do a Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do uh, advanced selections inside masks in order to reveal things. You can see over here we're working on a photo album. It's a portfolio album for a job we just did uh, last week. And basically, the vision is to reveal this image through a texture. Okay, in order to do that, we had to make a selection of a texture and the texture that we used to make the selection was this one okay so we created a selection and then we applied that selection to a mask right here so I'll hide this mask and you can see that with that mask and that selection with that texture created it will let us reveal the image underneath. Yeah, you could use a paintbrush tool and uh, reveal the image just by painting. However, to get a nice, cool selection with textures in it and stuff like that, you have to use a texture to create the selection, and it can be pretty fine in detail. Okay, that's at 100%. You can see that all that leather, that, that leather texture is intact. And it's, I mean, just down to the very fine edges where it's revealing. And this is the kind of detail that you'll, she'll see on her album when she picks it up. When we're all done with it, it's going to look pretty darn cool. Okay? I'm about halfway there right now. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So we're going to come over here to this image here. And we have that same texture. And we have a green layer. And we have the image. Okay? So the whole plan here is to have this texture reveal this corner so you can see this image through this green with a layer mask so if we just went ahead and applied a layer mask to this area and we grabbed our brush tool and we painted in black it would reveal our image so that's how a layer mask works black reveals white conceals okay so that's pretty simple right so let's delete that yes we want to delete it so this texture here, all it's for is to help us generate a selection. So if we grab our magic wand tool and you click here, you can see that it's trying to select the white area. So if you hold down the shift key, you'll get this plus symbol. Okay. And if you select a few areas of that, you can go up here and select refine edge. In the same way we did when we cut hair away or we tried to mask a sky, what we're going to do is we're going to mask our selection inside this area here and we're going to save that selection so we can load it on that mask. So I'm going to choose Smart Radius. We're going to grab our Edge tool. Okay, and you notice that plus symbol's there because it's going to try to add. Okay, and all we'll do is we'll just come in here and paint and it will just start adding to our selection make sure we're on the right layer first we need to be on the texture layer okay we need to do select refine edge smart radius and then we go in here and paint with a small tool just make this brush smaller it'll start to build your selection so once you've got your selection the way you want it you click OK and then you type select save selection and you give it a name okay click OK so we can deselect now by hitting control D and we'll come back up here to our green area and we're going to apply a mask to it. Now if you just hit the layer mask we need to select the proper layer. If you just hit the hit the, the layer mask it's going to apply a mask and you'll be ready to go but if you hold down the alt key there's one way you can automatically load it inverted or actually with black instead of white is if you hold down the alt key 
Okay, so if you hold down the Alt key and that's the Option key on a Mac, it's automatically going to load the layer mask and hide it for you. Okay, those are two ways you can do. It. I just wanted to show you that. So we're going to grab our layer mask, and now we're going to load that selection on the mask. Select load selection. I've already done this, so we're going to grab our corner texture. Click OK. Actually, that's not the one I want to do. Control D. Select load texture and okay. So it takes a while to get it all selected. Once you have it all selected, you can tell. Okay, so now that we've got it all selected on the mask, if we grab our paint bucket tool with black paint on this white and we click, you can see that it's going to reveal our image through. Let's turn this off, and you can see that. If you just go in and click a few times in that white area, it'll just keep painting black and dumping more and more black on. Or you can leave some texture on there. Okay? So you hit Control D to deselect, and we'll zoom in. You can see that that's how you can make a really detailed selection. Or you can leave some texture in there. You know, like I had that uh, little bit of foggy areas on the side. But see, if it's too big, let's zoom back out. Say if we just wanted this down in the corner only of the image, we need to transform the selection. So let's back this off. Okay. And we're going to load that selection. Select load selection. Click OK. And then if you go select, transform the selection. And if you hold down the shift key in the corner, it will constrain everything and resize it for you. Okay? So let's say if we just wanted to apply it to that lower corner, we click enter. Okay? And now when we grab our paint bucket tool, say we just leave a little texture over here on this side so it's not completely transparent. We hit control D to deselect. Now we can come in with our paintbrush tool and get rid of the rest. So we'll grab it with a black brush and just knock it out of there like that. I mean, there's no real rules to this stuff. It's how whatever you got to do to make it work. So that's how you would apply a fancy selection or detailed selection, I should say, on a layer mask in order to get a nice border on top of your image. I want to thank you all for visiting my blog today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to post them inside the comments section at the bottom. And until next time, we'll see you soon.